Beginners, listen up. Let's get into the top 10 data science courses you need to take in 2023. These courses will help beginners become data engineers, data scientists, machine learning engineers, and of course, data analysts. And you don't need any prior experience or education to take these courses. All of them will be beginner friendly. I've talked a lot about data analytics on this channel, but in this video, I wanna go over courses in data science that can help you open up new job opportunities with high salaries. Most of these courses will be on EDX or Coursera to keep the costs low, and you can even get some of the certificates for free, and I think that's pretty good because I want to include courses accessible to all, regardless of your financial situation. The first course is SQL for Data Science. We're starting off with this one because SQL is so important. You need SQL for most data roles, whether you're looking to become a data analyst, scientist, engineer, or whatever. SQL is the language we use for databases, and it's a requirement on nearly every single job listing. This is a program with multiple courses but you can also just take the first course and learn a lot. But if you want to take all the courses, it's going to take you roughly four months at five hours per week. But considering how important SQL is, I think it's definitely worth it. The first course covers SQL basics. The next one covers specific things with SQL like data wrangling. And then we move on to something called big data. And finally, a capstone project at the end. After completing this course, you get a certificate. And this is great because it shows that you're willing to learn and it's going to boost your resume quite a bit. And that's very important important, especially for entry-level jobs as a beginner. Next up, we have the Google Advanced Data Analytics. This is a pretty new course and it builds on top of the classic Google Data Analytics Certificate. And the main benefit of this course is how much it focuses on Python. If we look at the courses, there are seven courses starting out with some basics and getting into more advanced concepts as we go. It is also not just a data analytics course, but some other data science concepts are introduced too, like basic machine learning. To be honest, it might be a little bit overkill if you only want to become a data analyst, so do keep that in mind, but I still think it's a great course and you learn some valuable data skills. One downside to this course is that you're not going to be learning any SQL at all, so you have to study SQL on the side if you're going to be taking this course. SQL is absolutely essential. Okay, let's keep going. Course number three is the IBM Data Engineering. Data engineers have one of the most important jobs, they make sure the data is available, that the other people have access to it, and that it's in the right place, and so on. And all of this is very important because without data engineers, the data professionals can't do their work. So as data becomes more and more important to companies, data engineers are highly sought after and will get a high salary and great benefits like in working from home. The courses in this program covers everything from data engineering and to basic Python to a lot about databases and other things you need to know as a data engineer. It's a pretty comprehensive course to be honest and many of these skills will be very helpful even if you decide to get another job in data, so it's definitely worth your time as a data professional. Course number four is a personal favorite of mine and it's the Data Camp Data Analyst Certification. Now this one isn't really just one course. You take multiple courses and then some final tests to get your certification. I really like Data Camp. They're a platform specifically for teaching data science skills and it's very affordable and highly interactive with many projects and hands-on learning. You are going to learn SQL and Python or R and they're all super useful skills. And it's basically like you get their entire library of online courses and learning material and you learn what you have to and then you take a test. And this is a great advantage if you've taken a course in the past because you only have to take the courses that you really need to. So it might save you some time compared to another certificate where you have to just take all the courses. Number five is a little bit different and it's called Machine Learning by Andrew Yang. Machine learning is often viewed as a concept that's super hard to grasp for beginners. It's super complex and difficult. And in this course, beginners will be taught basic machine learning from zero. Zero experience is needed. All you need is high school math and some super basic understanding of programming and how it works. The course material is structured into three different courses and you start with supervised learning, you move over to advanced learning algorithms, and finally something called unsupervised learning and more. You don't have to know anything about this right now, everything is going to be taught in the course. Now this is going to be a difficult course, but it's still made for beginners, so you don't have to worry if you're new to the field. I really like this course because machine learning is incredibly important and you can find out that this is the field that you want to continue in. It's really really popular, it has great reviews, and there are many open jobs with high salaries in the machine learning. And maybe this is how you start your new career. Next up on the list is not just one course, but a whole collection of SQL courses. There's this one site called LearnSQL.com that focuses on teaching one single skill, and it's obviously SQL. And because they focus just on SQL, they're actually really good at teaching it. They currently have exactly 69 SQL courses as I'm recording this, and they focus a lot on hands-on learning, which you know is how I recommend learning anything, but especially SQL and Python. You also get a SQL certificate after completing each course, 
course, which I know that some of you are really interested in. Sometimes it's hard to find good courses for SQL, but this is definitely one. Here are some of the courses available on the platform, and as you can see, they have lots of beginner courses to learn SQL from scratch, but also some more advanced courses if you're really looking to work those SQL muscles. A disclaimer, I'm not sponsored by them at all, so I'm not forced to say this, but I actually believe that it's a really good way of learning SQL, and I am going to leave my link in the description if you want to use my link to support the channel at no additional cost to you. All right, so let's move over to number seven, which is all about learning Excel. And Excel is still an incredibly valuable skill in data. And the main reason for this is because in a company, most people aren't that technical and they don't really use SQL or Python or something like that. Many people in the company are just normal people with some basic Excel skills. And if you are able to do something in Excel, everybody can be a part of it too. And it's accessible to everyone in the company. So even though more advanced tools exist and they're really, really good, Excel still has its place in your company. And most people don't practice enough Excel at all. And they're honestly not as good as they think they are with Excel. So this course is called Excel for Business. And I think it's a really good way of fixing that and boosting your Excel skills a little bit. It is super popular as well. It contains four different courses all about Excel and basically nothing else. Just really, really useful concepts with Excel. They cover everything from functions to pivot tables to data cleansing in Excel. And you can take all the courses and get a final certificate or just take a single course. It's still really, really helpful. The next course is called Python for Data Science and it's by Harvard University. Yes, the real famous Harvard University. Most people don't know that you can get a free online certificate from this university. You don't even have to pay anything and it's actually a data science course. If you pay, you get a verified certificate from EDX, but even if you don't pay for the certificate or the program, you still get a certificate from Harvard and it says Python for Data Science and looks like this. I hope this free alternative is helpful because I know that this is an expensive online course and some of you might not be able to afford it. I mean, it is actually pretty expensive for a program like this, but it's still really, really cool that it's by Harvard. There are three different courses in this program and the first one is called CS50 Introduction to Programming with Python and it's just a basic Python course. Next, you'll learn probability and statistics, which is really important in data science. And if you don't have a technical background, like for example, statistics or computer science or something like that, then this course could be really helpful for you. Because honestly, I feel like a lot of people are kind of missing that theoretical and technical background. So that is going to be really helpful, especially if you want to move into more advanced concepts in data science. The last course is just data science stuff with Python, nothing special. This course can help you become a data scientist and they make a lot of money, but also data analysts and many other jobs in data, because many of the skills overlap as you might know by this point. I think it's a really great course and you know there's a free Harvard certificate so what can you really lose? I know that it's been a lot but we're getting to the final two courses and these ones are really good. Number nine is the IBM data science certificate. This is like the king of general data science education online. IBM is going to teach you data science skills applicable in many different positions and jobs. You're going to learn Python and SQL and do projects and the course focuses on preparing you for a job as a data scientist. But just like I said, many things overlap and you're really going to recognize that a lot of things are data analyst responsibilities because it really depends on the company. In some companies, they're basically the same thing and it's kind of messed up, but in other roles, they're doing much more advanced stuff. Either way, I think it's a really great course for those looking to get that kind of general data science education. If you want to become a data scientist, you of course need much more than this one course. I just wanted to give you a realistic expectation, but this course is a great way to ease into the field quickly. And I mean, data scientists make around 130,000 per year so it, I think it's definitely worth investing some time into this and the salary can even be way higher than that so now are you ready for the final course we're actually getting to the end here and I think you can guess this one course there's one super popular course that we've completely ignored so far everybody watching this video should have some kind of understanding about this course maybe you've heard about it at least what course am I talking about okay it's the Google Data Analytics Professional Certificate love it or hate it it's a great course in many ways but only if you're an absolute beginner looking to become a data analyst this course doesn't really go into depth about many things and you'll need to study more on your own, but as an intro course, it does a flawless job. I still think it's a really good course. It starts with foundations, asking questions, dealing with data and visualizing your findings. There's also a final capstone project at the end to put your skills together. And it's a really practical course with many exercises. I think data analytics is a great field to get into. The entry level jobs are pretty competitive, but once you get over that initial beginner phase, you have a thriving future ahead of you. All the links are in the description as usual and make sure to like this video and subscribe for more helpful data content. I'm Lucas and I'll see you in the next video.